Hello, I'm Rusty Barefoot. And I'm Laurel Jernigan. Welcome to our camping advice episode. From time to time, every man likes to leave behind the troubles of life, whether that be a woman, children, a job, or some awful combination of the three, and head out into the great outdoors. Traditionally, that's called camping, although the Cherokee called it Onalagahiga. Let's get started. The pansies down at the outdoor store at the mall like to hike for miles to their campsite, carrying all their belongings in some crazy foreign backpack. We got a different philosophy. The campsite we suggest is one that's got vehicle access. Lorna, what is it I always say? Uh, it ain't the size of the wave, it's the motion in the ocean? No. I say you gotta keep the home fires burning. When camping, you gotta call your woman before your woman calls you. And remember this one important rule. Always underemphasize how good of a time you're having. Hey baby, it's rough out here. There's bugs, it's hot. I wish I was with you just to hold you. Yes. A big part of camping is embracing your hunter-gatherer heritage. Now, we get all our meat from the food barn, but we find it therapeutical to simulate the hunter-gatherer process before cooking. Pull! Almost got away. The Surgeon General recommends limiting red meat intake to eight ounce servings. So we encourage you to eat only eight ounces at a time, taking frequent breaks to enjoy the beverage of your choice. Rusty, for your smoothie, you want an immunity boost or a protein boost? Protein. Campfire is the perfect place to connect with your friend, and we got some suggestions to help you stoke the flames of conversation. Whoa! Rusty, would you characterize your relationship with Gina as a rushing river, a babbling brook, or a stagnant pond? What? Would you say that your struggle with psoriasis makes you feel like less of a man? Can we talk about something else? Do you ever imagine yourself as a baby? Ever since my uncle lost both of his eyes while pitching a tent, we don't use the things. Besides, why in the world do they call it a truck bed? I'm going to sleep. And don't forget to establish a safety radius and pipe out animal intimidation noises. I'm going to sleep. Uh, why don't you just take the chair? Yeah, I, I was going to take the chair. Thanks for joining us. See you next week. Rusty and Arnold's Guide to the Good Life has been brought to you by Catulas, the guys with the goods.